Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic the OPC DA protocol. Friend, today's topic is very very important and interesting, especially if you have interest in cyber security and you want to learn about it. So let's just start, friend. First of all, I request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, basically OPC is a mechanism is a protocol which we use to transfer data between the machines normally this method uh, this protocol used in uh, plants manufacturing companies like they have some plant and they want to transfer data from one from plant to IT department for example so normally they use the OPC protocol OPC is basically a protocol to transfer data from source to destination now one of its type is OPC DA. The latest version is the OPC UA, but the previous version, or you can say uh, the older version, was OPC DA. OPC DA stands for Open Platform Communication Data Access. This is the communication used for accessing protocol process data. It was released in 1995. OP OPC DA is the most basic protocol of the OPC. OPC the representation of uh, the data for DA is like first the value the data itself along with name comes and to that other information column come along with it such as timestamp that provides the exact time when the value was read and the last the information regarding the validity of data which is called quality comes so basically OPC DA stand for open platform communication data access which is used to transfer data from source to location and a very good example of it is like manufacturing companies where like they want to transfer data from plant to uh, IT department we can use the OPC DA protocol um, then uh, friend OPC DA is basically based on the COM structure or COM interface um, and that uh, and it's difficult to manage security on the COM interfaces uh, communication is not platform independent it is very much a windows product data is often written in the least common denominator format typically a character string which causes all kinds of data conversions to take place the protocol was not designed with the internet and firewalls in mind opc has a lot of layers that can negatively affect the performance and there is a limited data type handling OPC DA uh, uh, like the format is like for uh, this is the OPC server and this is the client and it can access the data through the DCOM interface and you can see uh, from here like different systems are there and this uh, from different system data is coming on the OPC server and, and then op from OPC server it is going to OPC client actually this is the format and OPC DA will retrieve data from a device while also providing VQT value quality timestamp but it is worth mentioning the DA dated nature of OPC DA means that it is not OS agnostic and is in fact almost exclusively a Windows product. Uh, OPC DA comes with under the classic model OPC cl uh, classic uses DCOM communication for client server connection, DCOM is for Windows, OS and DCOM and RPC ports are not as engineer friendly. Uh, the ability to take OPC DA messages and tra transcribe them to MQTT is extremely useful because typically these two communications protocol will not communicate with each other. A OPC DA will gather VQT data and pass that along MQTT on the other hand is preferred by developers due to its ease of use, speed and user friendliness. So friend uh, thank you, thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video.